How's it? It's ISO Casual Gamer at its finest. So it's come to the point in this day and age where I believe it's a risk to pre-order games and I don't plan on doing so whatsoever. We had games like Cyberpunk as an example and the latest being Battlefield 2042 where these games were released unfinished, definitely not ready, not optimized and essentially a buggy mess. And it's just really disappointing to see because when you're excited for a game, you want the games to be good. Now, there are some benefits to pre-ordering games, okay? The smallest one of it is sometimes you get some additional items that can help you with starting your journey within the game. Yes, those items can be pretty cool, but they're not game-breaking or overpowered whatsoever. The biggest reason why anyone should pre-order a game is for pre-loading. Some people have really bad or slow internet and they need time to download those games. And then when a day one patch happens, all they have to do is download that, which takes still significantly less time than downloading the whole game and then they're ready to go. Obviously, if you have great internet, this problem isn't really for you and you don't have to worry about it, but still you have to waste some time to download the whole game and the day one patch. So it is what it is. Those are really the only benefits of it. And some companies have really good refund policies. For example, for Steam, is as long as you play the game within two hours and two weeks, you can refund it. So you can kind of think of it as, oh, I'm gonna pre-order the game. As long as I meet that criteria, I can return it. Easy day, right? But the only thing is, is if you go over any of those two, you can no longer refund the game, which is a problem I'm running into with Battlefield 2042. And sometimes two hours isn't enough time to really get to know a game. You know, depending on the intro, things like that, and sometimes other players might want to give it a chance, whatever the case is like, that was pretty much the issue for me with Battlefield 2042. So at this point, I'm just gonna wait for a reliable reviewer, uh, ACG as an example, and reviews on Steam, whatever the case is, to let me know how the games are. But once I have enough information, in my opinion, to show that, hey, the game is in a good state, I'll go ahead and buy it. Simple as that. So that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe, whatever the case is. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.